right? Shalom. Want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rokakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makaza from Insurance.com. Just want to do edification for the elect seek. Now, the name of this video will be Quench Not the Spirit. Alright? Don't, don't, you know, hold back that fire that within. <clears throat> Alright? In the case of, you know, the spirit might jump on you to do a video or to speak about a certain topic. And you might delay the scripture, say, put not all from day to day. You know, when the spirit hot upon you, you know, jump, jump and do this and, and do the video, do the do the lesson. Because you know, you might you might put off and put off, and then when the spirit jump off, alright, when the spirit not hot in you as it was to do the video, when you go and try to do it, you might not do it with the force that the spirit was intending. Alright? So, you know, get it get it while it's hot. So when the spirit hot on you, you know. Go and, go and do that video. Don't 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 put off or you know say well alright I could do it tomorrow, I could do it another day. Nah, do it do it one time. If it's possible. Alright? If it's possible, do it, do it that same moment. Sometimes you might be on work, you might be busy, and a topic come up, a hot topic come up. You know, but as soon as you get a chance to do it while the spirit's still hot, don't 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 keep putting off the spirit. Because when you want to do it in your own spirit, it wouldn't be the same. Alright? So don't quench that spirit. Alright, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19. It says, quench not the spirit. Yeah, so don't quench it. I want to look up the word quench. <clears throat> it means what? To, um, basically to extinguish. Or to go out or quench. So basically like you're, you're extinguishing a fire. So don't extinguish that fire that burden with you. Hey, even when you're out on the highways and byways, if you're accustomed being on fire when you're speaking, guess what? Don't let nothing tame down that fire. Don't let nothing tame that flame. Because that flame that you have is the flame of the Mosa, that is the flame, the spirit that the Mosa gave you to be with. So don't ever quench, don't ever drown that, that, um, that flame. Keep that flame burn, burning. Alright? If, if the flame within you to do, you know, 10 videos a week, hey, do your 10 videos a week. Those two I will just settle with, with three. Alright? So keep keep pushing. And let that and let that spirit keep keep blazing. Don't, quen, don't ever quench that fire at all. Don't quench the spirit. All right. Don't quench that spirit. See the next precept. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter twenty, verse nine. And it reads, it says, Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire, shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Yes, yeah, so even Jeremiah said, the, the words of the Moses was in him blazing. So he couldn't help, he couldn't help but speak. All right? So you might see things happening, you know, on the internet. Do just, do just light path. Hey, Pause, pause that video and go and do, go and do a video. The apostles might be doing a lesson, you know, something spark your interest through the spirit. Hey, pause it. Go and do a video on it. Edify the elect. Don't ever quench that flame. Don't ever put off the, the, the spirit. All right? If the most I put the spirit on you to do a video at that moment, hey, do, do that video that moment. If it's possible. Don't, don't put it off. Don't put it off for another day or another week. Don't, don't do that because when you're ready to do it, Guess what? The spirit might not be there to do it. So then you wouldn't do it with the same force. And as I said, when you're out on the highways and byways, hey, the spirit jump on you to speak, to be on fire, be on fire. Don't ever hold back. Don't be afraid to speak. Speak with wisdom, all right? Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, but don't be afraid to speak. That is what we were set up to do, to speak. Don't ever be afraid to, to let that flame go. All right? Don't ever do that. Because you're actually quenching the fire the most high. This is Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 39. Verse 2. I'll read verse 3 also. Psalms 39. 
verse 2 and 3, it says, I was dumb with silence. I held my peace, even from good. So yeah, so when you out there on the highways and byways and you know, you, you're not, you don't want to speak about certain things. It's like you have a gag order or, you know, somebody restraining them from speaking. Guess what? You're holding back your tongue from speaking good. All right. It says, and my sorrow was stood. All right. So you can't be like that. You can't be, you know, not wanting to speak for good. It says, my heart was hot within me while I was musing. The fire burned. Then speak I with my tongue. So while you mute, let's look up the word music. Let's look up the word music. The word music means what? Um, meditation. Our complete on meditation. So you're meditating on what's going on. You're meditating on the words of the Most High and the fire gonna blaze because while you're meditating on the scriptures, more scriptures gonna come. And guess what? Just like Jeremiah, you wouldn't be able to forbear to speak once the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. All right, don't ever quench the spirit. Let it let the fire go. Let it blaze. All right. I believe as Tony Braxton said, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let that spirit go. Let that spirit burn within you. Because that is with the spirit. The scripture said the spirit of the Lord was upon me. Alright? So when the spirit of the Lord jump on you to do a hot topic, a hey, do the hot topic. When the Spirit of the Lord jump on you to blaze while you're out on the highways and byways, blaze. Don't hold it in. Don't ever quench that Spirit. Paul said good. Quench not the Spirit. Don't Quench don't mean to satisfy your Spirit. Alright? It means don't, don't um, extinguish it. Don't put it out. Let it blaze. If the Spirit wants to go to 100, let it go to 100. Don't leave it at 50 because that is when you're, you're quenching the Spirit. When in the spirit jump on you to do a hot topic and you're putting it off for another two days or another week, that is when you're quenching the spirit. Don't do that. Because the, script, the scripture says, take no thought what you shall say is the spirit of the most that speak it in you. So when you not wanting to speak, you're actually trying to hold back the spirit of the most high. Alright, it says, my heart was hot within me while I was musing and the fire burned. Then speak I with my tongue. So when the fire blazing within you, speak. The scripture says, speak, young man. Alright, don't ever, don't ever tame that spirit down. Alright, don't do that. Right, this is Job 32 verse 18. It says, for I am full of matter. The spirit within me constrained me. My Behold, my belly is as wine which had no vent, it is ready to burst like new bottles. All right, so he says what? The spirit within me constrained me. I'm full of matter. So now, when you're full of matter, you're going to have a lot of things to talk about. You're going to have a lot of videos to do. All right? Let me look up the word matter. When you look up the word matter, it means what? A word, collectively a discourse, figuratively a topic. So when you're full of topics... Because, you know, you're studying, you're, you're going through YouTube, looking at videos, looking at the news. You're full of topics. You're full of topics to do videos. All right? And when you look up constraint, it says what? Distress, oppress, constrain. To press. So, right? Or straighten. So, because you're full of matter, because you're full of topics, the spirit going to press you to do them topics. So, the spirit going to be upon your heart to do them topics. But when you're not wanting to do the topics, that is when you're, you're, you're quenching the fire. That is when you're quenching the fire, when the Spirit presses upon you to do them topics and you're, you're holding back. That is when you're quenching the Spirit, so don't quench the Spirit. Push that the Spirit and do them videos. Alright? Just as the Spirit pushing you, do that. Hey, you're on the highways and byways and the Spirit pushing your heart to... to you know, to, to speak because you're seeing wickedness going on around you. Hey, speak about the wickedness. Because we're not only out there to teach Israel that they are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're out there to rebuke and correct too. To rebuke them, rebuking them. Some of them who don't want to hear that word is rebuking them is they receiving the judgment from the most side. Because they know the scripture said, if I had not come, they would have cloak for the sin. But now I am come, they have no cloak. So for them not to have no cloak is for you to rebuke and correct them. Say, how to rebuke them? If you don't tell them about, you know, hey, come out to that wicked ass doctrine. Stop dressing like a slut in the streets. 
Stop being a bull man. Stop being a lesbian. If you don't tell them these things, guess what? Their blood will be upon your hands. So you don't want their blood to be upon your hands. So you gotta correct and rebuke because you're full of matter because you're, because you're seeing what's going on. All right. So don't ever hold back that spirit because what he said, he said, my belly is as wine which had no vent. It is ready to burst. It's ready to burst because the spirit overwhelming it. Like you can't hold back. That is where you see some men just come out and they're blazing. They're, they're, they're mad as hell because the spirit jump on them so hot, so intense that if they try to hold back, they might go insane. So don't ever quench that spirit that burning within. It's a good thing. All right, that is a good thing. All right, so don't ever, don't ever close down that spirit. All right, don't ever let that spirit close at all. This is um, Ecclesiasticus, chapter four, verse twenty-three. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 23 And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good And hide not thy wisdom in her beauty Alright, so don't refrain to speak When you, when you know it, when the spirit jump on you And you know it, it irking you to say something it, 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 it etch, You know, it, it's like at the tip of your tongue Just ready to jump off Don't refrain your tongue to speak When the spirit jump on you to do a video Don't refrain your tongue to speak to do that video Don't ever do that You're quenching the, 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 the flame Hey, and that might be sin unto you because you actually, you know, put him by the spirit to the most high. All right, you being lukewarm by doing by not wanting to do the, to speak when the spirit jump on you to speak. Don't ever hold back that spirit. All right, when that spirit moving, jump on that spirit. All right, the spirit moving. When the spirit moving, move with the spirit. When I move, you move. That when the spirit moving, you move with that spirit. Jump on that train and move with that spirit. Do ever, you know, constrain that spirit. All right. Do ever fight against the spirit when the spirit want to speak about a certain topic. Use the opportunity to blaze. Because hey, it might be a beautiful topic, but then when you want to do it at your own time, it might not come up with as much force as somebody else wants to do it, as the spirit wants you to do it. And then when the spirit realizes that you, you know, you basically hesitating to do it, the spirit gonna jump on somebody else to do that video. That is why a couple of times when you're ready to do the video, you might see somebody else done did the video and they do it beautifully, wonderfully, even better than you was intending to do it. Because why? Because when you're ready to do it, you're not doing it with the spirit of the most high. But that individual, that brother did it with the spirit of the Mosai because the Mosai realized that you were sticking. So the spirit jumped on another Akim to do the video. That is why that has happened most of the times because you was hesitating to do it. So the spirit jump on somebody else because that topic going to come out with or without you. So if the spirit jump on you to do the video, do the video. All right? This is the final precept here. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. Verse 24. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. So wisdom moving. So the spirit don't stay still. The spirit always move it, always flowing. She passed it and going through all things by reason of her pureness. Alright? So wisdom moving. The spirit don't ever stay constant. So that is why Apostle say, Apostle Taha said, be in that spirit of three videos a day because the spirit always moving, it always has something to talk about. And once you're in the spirit, you're going to be full of matter. You're going to be full of topics because it's always going to have something to do a video on. All right? It's not that we're looking for views or we're looking for, you know, for subscriptions. No, we're looking to wake up the elect because by the more video you push, the more chances the elect going to see the videos and be woken up. So jump on that wagon and don't quench that spirit. All right. So with that, want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai, by Hashem Rakhah Kadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazah saying Shalom.